Hello lovelies of the internet, um, I've came on to talk about dip dyeing your hair. Right, when I said I was going to dip dye my hair, a lot of people were very like negative about it surprisingly, and I was just like, Ugh. they were like, no it won't work, you'll have to bleach it and then you'll ruin your hair, don't do it. And I was like, I really don't think I'll have to bleach my hair to get the colour that I want. And um, in the end I didn't. I um, you can tell now, this is my natural hair colour, I've never dyed it before, so it's virgin hair, so colour's bound to stick to it better anyway. So, it's my original colour's like this brown colour. I'm like keeping you in suspense here. Um, and the dye I used was Directions in Pillar Box Red, because I wanted a really, really deep burgundy, and that's the colour that I got. One second, sorry. Ooh. That's the colour I got in the end, so... This is the finished product of my hair. It's not really showing up as well on camera as it, like, as good as it looks in real life, but it's a really, really vibrant red. And it looks really nice. This is the second time I've done it now because I've just topped it up today, this morning. And the colour lasts really, really well. Like, extremely well. And all I did was put a bin bag over myself and paint my hair with a pink, like, what are they called? The dye brushes to the length that I wanted it. I did a good few coats and then wrapped it in cling film to keep the heat in because it just helps it take the hair better. But yeah, this is like I said, that's this is the third, the second time that I've done my hair to like this length and this vibrance with this little pot and there's still about half of it, well about a third of it left now. So that'll still be good for another go and it keeps really well because as you know directions are semi-permanent and it's only in a tub anyway that you screw off so I, I, get, I guess it's bound to have to keep if that makes any sense whatsoever so yeah basically that's all I did I just painted it on and then left it for 30 minutes and then washed it off the first time I had to do it a couple of times because you know it was my first time dyeing my hair by myself so I really don't think it's necessary if you want like a burgundy colour like this or just a deep colour to have to bleach your hair it's not necessary at all and it, it's just adding damage that you don't need to your hair so if anyone wants to know more about dip dyeing then ask in the down bar down bar? but yeah ask in there so yeah thanks for watching and this is my new hair I hope you like it bye bye